Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Wise. In this series of videos, we are going to discuss cost of capital. Okay. So before we see the numerical problem, let us try to understand the basic concept of cost of capital. See, cost of capital is the minimum rate of return which a firm requires as a condition for undertaking an investment. Okay. See, generally in an organization, the long term fund consists of four different components. Number one is uh, debt, that is uh, long term borrowings or debentures, etc. And the second one is a preferent share capital. And the next one is equity share capital. And the fourth component is retained earnings, that is undistributed or accumulated profits are called retained earnings. This amount is fully belongs to equity shareholders. Okay. So this is also internal sources of long term fund. So these are the four components of long term fund for the organization. And the next one is weighted average cost of capital. After finding the four different components, then you can find out the average that is weighted average cost of capital and the last one is marginal cost of capital. So these are the various components we are going to discuss one by one along with the numerical problem. Now in this video we are going to see the first one that is cost of debt. Okay, Generally debt can be classified into two different categories. Number one is irredeemable debt. The next one is redeemable debt. So irredeemable debt means uh, uh, which is not redeemable during the life of the firm. Okay. In case of redeemable, redeemable debt refers to the debt which is repayable after a stipulated period of time. For example, after 5 years you have to repay that amount or after 7 years or after 10 years. Okay. So, such type of debt is called redeemable debt and this one is irredeemable debt. So, irredeemable debt means which is not redeemable during the life of the firm. Okay. So here first we are going to find out cost of irredeemable debt. Okay. So again it has two different calculations. One is cost of debt that is irredeemable debt before tax and second one is after tax. Okay. So there is a formula to find out cost of debt before tax. So this particular term refers to K refers to cost, D refers to debt, B refers to before tax. Okay. So, KDB refers to cost of debt before tax. The formula is interest divided by net proceeds into 100. So, how to calculate interest? Interest on debt should be calculated only on the face value of debt irrespective of the issue price. Whether the debenture is issued at par or at premium or at discount doesn't matter. Interest will be calculated based on the face value. Suppose the debenture price is 100 rupees per debenture means you will be getting interest. For example, the debenture interest is 2 percentage. You will be getting 2 percentage on the face value. The face value of debenture is 100 rupees now. So that you will be getting 2 percentage on 100 rupees. If the debenture is issued at par or at premium or at discount, whatever may be, interest is calculated based on the face value okay this is very important point okay the next component is net proceeds you have to calculate two things number one interest number two net proceeds so there is a formula to find out net proceeds suppose if the debt is issued at par this is the formula to find out the net proceed that is face value minus issue expenses if there is any issue expenses related to that issue that has to be subtracted from the face value to find out the net proceeds. Number two, debt issued at premium. In case of premium, then that has to be added along with the face value. So how to calculate net proceeds? Face value plus premium minus issue expenses if any. Okay, the third case is debt issued at discount. In case of discount, that has to be subtracted from the face value. In case of premium add, in case of discount minus. Okay. And then minus issue expenses. So these are the three possibilities to find out net proceeds. Now we are going to see the second one. That is cost of debt after tax. See the formula. Say this is the formula to find out cost of debt after tax. Okay. So K refers to cost. D refers to debt. 
K refers to after tax. Okay. KDA is equal to cost of debt before tax. Just apply the previous formula to find out cost of debt before tax and then multiply with 1 minus tax rate. Suppose tax rate is 50 percentage. Then you will be getting 0.5. 1 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.5. No, just multiply that value with cost of debt before tax. You will be getting cost of debt after tax. Okay, now we are going to see the numerical problem for better understanding. See the problem. On 1st January 2022, Wisdom Limited issued 10,000 7 percentage debentures at rupees 100 each. Okay, so how many number of debentures? 10,000 number of debentures and this particular percentage refers to interest on debentures. Okay, 7 percentage debentures at rupees 100 each. So, each debenture cost 100 rupees. No, so total debenture value is 10,000 into 100, 10 lakhs. Okay, the expenses on the issue were 25,000. This one is issue expenses. In this problem, they have given in rupees. Sometimes, they will give you in percentage. For example, 2 percentage means uh, you have to calculate 2 percentage on face value of the debenture or issue price, whichever is higher. For example, if the issue is at par means you can take the face value. Suppose if the issue is at premium means uh, you have to consider the premium value that is issue price. Okay. Suppose if the issue is at discount means in that case you have to consider face value okay whichever is higher will be taken into consideration for issue expenses but in this problem they have given issue expenses as rupees so you need not calculate anything simply you can consider 25000 okay the next one is the tax rate is 35 percentage okay with this information they are asking you to find out compute the cost of debt before and after tax under the following situation here we have three different situations. Number one, issue at par. At par means same face value. Number two, issue at premium of 10 percentage. So premium means extra, 10 percentage. So what is the face value? 100 rupees, no. So now 100 plus 10 percentage on 100, 10 rupees. Then the issue price will be 110 rupees. Okay, so issue at a premium of 10 percentage means 110 rupees each. Okay. The next one is uh, issue at a discount of 10 percentage. So, discount means lesser than the face value. So, 10 percentage on 100 rupees, 10 rupees. So, 100 minus discount 10 rupees, you will be getting 90 rupees. So, 90 rupees is the issue price. 90 into 10,000. The previous one is premium. No, 110 into 10,000. The first one is at par. 100 into 10,000. Okay. Now we are going to find out cost of debt before tax and after tax under three different circumstances. The first one is issue at par. See the solution. The first one is uh, debentures are issued at par. Okay. That is the first case. Okay. So first we are going to find out the cost of debt before tax and after finding this only we can find out the cost of debt after tax. Okay. So, what is the formula for cost of debt before tax? Interest divided by net proceeds into 100. Okay. So, we need to find out two different components uh, and then only you can apply the formula to find out cost of debt before tax. Okay. The first component is interest. So, how to calculate interest? Number of debentures into issue price. Okay. This one is debentures are issued at par. At par means same face value. So, how many number of debentures? 10,000 debentures. Each debenture cost is 100 rupees. Okay. So, 10,000 into 100 is equal to 10 lakhs. So, this is the total face value of debenture into interest rate. So, how much? 7 percentage debentures. No. So, this 7 percentage denotes interest rate. So, 7 percentage you will be getting 70,000. Interest is always calculated based on the face value. Okay. Whether the debenture is issued at par or at premium or at discount doesn't matter. You have to consider only the face value. So, 
So after multiplying with the face value, you will be getting the total value of debenture. In that, we need to calculate 7 percentage. So here, 7 percentage debentures, no. So this denote interest. So how much? 70,000. So after finding interest, the next one is net proceeds. So there is a formula to find out net proceeds. The formula is face value, how much? 10 lakhs, no. So 10 lakhs debentures minus issue expenses. In this problem, we have issue expenses in rupees. How much? 25,000, no. Just subtract 25,000, you will be getting net proceeds. So 9 lakh 75,000. This is the net proceed if the debentures are issued at par. Okay. So now apply the values in the formula to find out the cost of debt before tax. So how much interest? 70,000 divided by net proceeds 9 lakh 75,000 into 100. 7.18 percentage. So this is the way to find out cost of debt before tax. Now you have to apply the formula to find out cost of debt after tax. Okay. See the formula. See this is the formula to find out cost of debt after tax. The formula is cost of debt before tax. What is cost of debt before tax? 7.18 percentage. Okay. So 7.18 percentage into 1 minus tax rate. So what is the tax rate? See the problem. The tax rate is 35 percentage which means 0.35. 1 minus 0.35 is equal to 7.18 percentage into 1 minus 0.35. You will be getting 0.65. So what is the answer? 7.18 into 0.65. You will be getting 4.67 percentage. So this is cost of debt after tax and this one is cost of debt before tax. Okay. Now we are going to see the second scenario that is debentures are issued at premium. See the calculation. See the second case. Debentures are issued at a premium of 10 percentage. Okay. Same formula. Cost of debenture before tax. What is the formula? Interest divided by net proceeds into 100. So interest there will be no change in the calculation of interest because whether the debentures are issued at par or at premium or at discount, interest is always calculated based on the face value. Okay. So interest is going to be remain same, 70,000. That is 10,000 debentures into 100 rupees, 10 lakh into 7 percentage, 70,000. The second one is net proceeds. So there is a formula to find out net proceeds if the debentures are issued at a premium. Okay. So what is the formula? Face value, that is 10 lakhs, no. Plus premium. Premium how much? 10 percentage. So 10 percentage on 10 lakhs, 1 lakh. So 10 plus 1 lakh, 11 lakh. Minus issue expenses how much? 25,000. See the problem? Issue expense 25,000. So in this way you can calculate net proceeds. So face value 10 lakhs. That is 10,000 debentures at 100 rupees each. No. So this is face value plus premium how much? 10 percentage. So 10 percentage on 10 lakhs, 1 lakh. Minus issue expenses, 25,000. So what is the answer? 11 lakh minus 25,000, 10 lakh 75,000. So this is the net proceed if the debentures are issued at a premium of 10 percentage. Now substitute the value in the formula to find out cost of debentures before tax. So interest how much? 70,000. Divided by net proceeds 10 lakh 75,000 into 100. Answer 6.51 percentage. Okay. Now I am going to show you the calculation for cost of debt after tax. Okay. See the formula. See the formula to find out cost of debt after tax. Okay. So the formula is KDB that is cost of debt before tax. What is the answer? 6.51 percentage. No. So 6.51 percentage into 1 minus tax rate. So what is the tax rate? See the problem? 35 percentage, no. So 0.35. So 1 minus 0.35. 6.51 into 1 minus 0.35. You will be getting 0.65. So what is the answer? 4.23 percentage.
okay so this is the way to calculate cost of debt before tax and cost of debt after tax under debentures issued at a premium of 10 percentage okay now we are going to see the third scenario that is debentures are issued at a discount of 10 percentage see the calculation see the third case debentures are issued at a discount of 10 percentage same formula cost of debt before tax interest divided by net proceeds into 100 so interest is remained same 70000 okay so 10 lakhs into 7 percentage 70000 the next one net proceeds if the debentures are issued at discount this is the formula face value minus discount minus issue expenses so how much face value 10 lakhs no 10 lakhs minus discount how much 10 percentage on 10 lakhs 1 lakh minus issue expenses how much 25000 so what is the answer 10 minus 1 9 9 minus 25000 8 lakh 75000 now apply the values in the formula to find out the cost of debt before tax interest how much 70000 divided by net proceeds 8 lakh 75000 into 100 what is the answer 8 percentage okay so this is the way to calculate cost of debt before tax now we are going to see the calculation for cost of debt after tax see the formula the cost of debt after tax is equal to cost of debt before tax 8 percentage no so 8 percentage into 1 minus tax rate see the problem 35 percentage so 0.35 so 8 percentage into 0.65 that is 1 minus 0.35 you will be getting 0.65 so 8 into 0.65 you will be getting 5.2 percentage okay so this is the way to calculate cost of debentures issued at par at premium at discount okay in the next video we are going to see cost of redeemable debenture under three different scenarios you can find the playlist link in the description box hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you